Hello, hello, hello. My name is Hector, and welcome back to all the mods 3. How is everyone doing? Look at this. Engineer's blueprint for the arc furnace electrodes. Boom, we have them at last. That took quite a while, and I'm actually going to... Can, oh, can I? There we go. Uh, I'm actually going to imprison him because, um, yeah, that took a lot of uh, going around and trying to find uh, villagers. I found a lot of different villagers, but not the machinist. You can see I've got lots of junk. Uh, so that's the one that we want. Let's just shove all of that in there like that. There we go. And there we go. So we've got this now. We can actually get on. Uh, to making this. So why did we want this? If you remember last episode, and hello, hope you're all doing well and having a good day. We sort of went straight into stuff. Um, we made the industrium alloy, and which of course we need to make into forged industrium, but for that we need the arc furnace, and for that we need the electrodes, otherwise this will not work. Now we can't actually do this yet, but I wanted to get here and, and be ready for this, because, well, we, we need to. We're not quite at Ethium yet. Um, I can't remember how many other crystals there are. Let's have a quick gander. Um, environmental crystal. There we go. So we are at, oh, okay. So we're at Palladium right now. So we need one more, well, two more basically to get to Ethium, but one more. We're one off uh, the Ethium, which isn't too bad. It's not too bad. And, um, because of the thing, we we are getting some mica as well. Oh, we've got we've got two more. So every time we get two, I just put a um a speed modifier on just to make it go a little bit faster, which is obviously helpful. Um, so we need to make a, an arc furnace, and I don't know if we need to do anything else for that. But let's get back home. Can I? And uh, let's get back home before the night falls and start making an arc furnace. So it looks as though we're going to have to go through a little bit of immersive engineering um, of their tech tree to get like things like treated wood, which we don't have any of. Um, so we can do that. I don't, you know, I don't mind doing a little bit of this. So let's start by making the old Coke oven. I'm just making it one off the uh, one off the ground just so that we can get underneath it and I know I could be using a builder's wand I know it's okay and I, I don't mind bam that's that uh, and then let's have you the old blast oven one one away and again one off the ground there you go bam bam and we are just at the bottom of the jungle floor here. Like, that is the base. That is the base. And that is our first bit of power. Can you remember getting? Uh, so we need to do that. Nope, that. There we go. Um, so we need to put coal in here. That's the thing. And then we get the treated whatever it is from there. No, that's not the thing that I wanted. <laughs> Come on. Uh, so coal, which we have obviously a lot of. That is not a problem. Uh, in fact, can we make, can we put, I think, I think, can we not put coal blocks in there? Is this not a thing that we can do? Can I? Can we? There we go. Come on. Let us, let us come in here. Yes, yes we can. Oh, I've got another block of coal there. Okay, so that should give us the stuff for treated wood. And then I've made the coal, uh, no, the blast furnace as well, just in case we need it. I think we might. So the first thing that I want to make is a projector um, because it will allow us to project the um, the things that we need, basically, for um, immersive engineering. All of the machines. It's a, it's a really nice little thing, um, but you can see I need a treated wood plank. So I need that first. That is... This is a very, very slow process, and I probably should hook this up with a tank. That would be a nice thing to do, just so that we can uh, we can do that. And then this spits out coal coke, I think, and then we can obviously make steel. Now, we, we probably don't need this, actually, thinking about it, because this only makes steel, and uh, we can... We can make steel. Steel is not a thing for us, because we have steel essence. 
So I'm hoping we can use that, but uh, we shall see. We shall see. This is still going. 70%, it is still the same one. Literally the same one. And in this time, I've built a furnace and I've got it up to resident level. And with this, the pyrolytic conversion, we should be able, we should be able, if we put that in here, to do the same thing. Uh, why has this not got power? Uh, it should have power. There is, I've literally, I've got a power cell here. <laughs> Why are you not? Um, let's put it there. Why are you not getting power? Ah, of course. Oh, Hector, that was, that was daft of you. Let's just put you back. There we go. Uh, so this is doing the exact same thing, which I've I've never I've never known before. I don't know if this is a new thing in thermal uh, thermal expansion that we can do this, but uh, this is now going as fast as it can. So these these coils are increases maximum uh, processing speed, and this is basically allows for yeah. There you go. And create so uh, production. So uh, with this, we can now. Um, what I've done basically is set this up like that, do that, there we go, um, extract, insert, there we go, and why have you connected to this as well, I don't need you there, um, actually if we just do that, there we go, um, and I've put it into an ender tank like that, and basically um, that connects to our system, so as soon as this gets any, there we go, we should be getting some surely, there we go. Oh wow, that was quite a lot. Okay, and this is a block of coal coke. Okay, great. And this is, <laughs> this still hasn't done one. Look at that. But now, if we go, oh no, in, if we go into our fluid, we should, there we go. We've got some crystal oil. Excellent stuff. So this will, uh, this will speed up uh, this process, which is, I think, very necessary. Like, that's a lot better. Look at that. That compared to, mm-hmm. This is one of the worst things about immersive engineering. The coke oven is slow. All right, I've made myself a projector. Uh, I've got some more treated wood planks, but I thought it would be good to make some of these as well. So, um, basically, we need a lot of this stuff. Um, so, ah, look at that. Interesting. Okay. Um, so, let's make that. Steel slabs. Ah, steel sheet metal slab. Okay. Okay, there we go. This is all a little bit complex, and then we need to probably do that. So, is that the only way to make this? Steel ingot. Okay, let's do that. We might have to make a few more engineer's hammers. In fact, let's make a uh, recipe for this. Oh, yes, that is excellent. That should do us there. Steel... I'm guessing we'll need those. There we go. This is just the steel compartment. Um, steel scaffolding, I think we'll need. There we go. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Um, scaffolding slab, I think, maybe. There we go. That's just the steel part of the equation. We've also got the engineering blocks. Um, but I would, I think this is going to be a much better way of doing immersive engineering, frankly. Immersive engineering, I have like a, a love-hate relationship with it. I It's a brilliant mod, don't get me wrong. The models for it are great. Um, right, what is the, is the engineering blocks? Yeah, but I find often going through it, I get a little bit, I don't know, if you if you keep having to do it, I think it's just one of these mods that can get a little bit grating because, well, it's a, it's a lot of faff, you know? There's a lot of faff involved in it. Um, I don't know if we've got a piston set up. There we go. And I'm guessing I might also need one of these. Um, do we have an iron plate pattern? I don't know. Um, let's make that one. There we go. Lovely stuff. So that should be a lot of it, basically. We should be okay. So if we shove all of this in, there we go. We can now, can I? 
There we go, there it is. And we can now have a look at the recipe for the arc furnace. We'll probably have to do a few other things, but if you do this, you can sort of see. So 40, and in fact, what I might do is do that because that is a clever thing to do. And um, if I open on my other monitor, my um, screenshots, we can basically uh, do this live. How great is that? So, um, let's go to immersive there we go so we need 14 sheet metal slabs um there we go 14 there we go bam done um eight steel sheet metal eight, what how much eight so we, oh we need an extra can i can i there we go an extra five easy enough done bam um Blocks of steel. Did I actually do a block of steel? I don't know if I did. Okay, let's uh, let's not do that for a sec. Steel scaffolding five. That's also fairly easy. One redstone engineering block done. Um, ten light engineering blocks. And there we go. That should be doing it. Uh, five heavy. Lovely. St oh. We're missing, ah, we didn't do that. That is a steel one rather than, okay, uh, there we go. Let's put that in, into the mix. There we go. And we need, what, a steel block as well. Uh, let's have a look. Uses of that. Where is just the block? Come on. <laughs> okay. Let me just actually put it in. Since we are here, steel block. Nope, block, there we go, right, so I'm guessing that's steel sheet metal, ender IO, block of steel? Yeah, okay, there we go, bam, right, so let's shove that in as well, there we go, lovely stuff, there we go, uh, and of course, Need to do this again now. Immersive. Bam. Right. Where are we at? Um, we need five of these, which is not many. There we go. And then the last thing we need, we actually need reinforced blast brick, which is going to be a little bit harder. For, just a little bit. Uh, if I do steel, how many of these was it? Six, I think. Um, let's just make ten because we can. So that is a lot better. Uh, if we look at reinforced blast brick, let's have a quick gander at this. This is a much better way of going about immersive engineering. Ah, so we need steel plates and blast brick. And I think we might be able to, we need 27 of those. There we go. And then we need 27 of that. Two, oh really though? <laughs> really? Um, that's uh, steel. That's let's uh recipe there we go bam come on oh there it is i already got it i already got it um blast brick this that bam i'll read come on man like all right i'm gonna quickly finish this off and then we're gonna build the arc furnace peeps right so we are back down here and this is how the projector works. So all you do is navigate to the correct place in your your manual uh, to where the recipe is, then put it in the crafting grid and you will get the correct projection. And then from here, you can middle click your mouse button. And then I think if you shift middle click, it mirrors it. And um, I think that will basically do. I think that's sort of where I want it. Um, right, let's get to building this then. Oh, I th do I need that in my... Yeah, I do need that. That needs to stay in your inventory in order to work. So we can do that. Um, that's most of the stuff. Okay, so... Yes, excellent. And this is this is a great thing. If you're on the correct block, it will basically tell you um, exactly how to build this, which is a lovely, a lovely thing. I think that's a... That's a great way of doing it. This is all that. Okay, bam, bam, bam. I don't know what that is. Steel block, maybe? 
Yes, steel, bam. And that is the cauldron, maybe? I literally can't tell what that is. Ah, yeah, okay, that was the cauldron. F fair enough. Sort of didn't really look like it, but um, maybe because that was a vanilla block, it didn't really show up. Um, but that is okay. Um, I don't mind. So here we've got engineering blocks here. At the back, like that, by the looks of it, these are the heavy, heavy engineering. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm guessing more of these. Yes, you and you. And then bam and bam. I didn't bam that one. There we go. Okay. And a lot more stuff now. Wow. Okay. You. You. More of these. And I wouldn't normally, I wouldn't normally do all, all of this in camera, but um, I don't often do a lot of immersive engineering stuff on camera, so I thought I would for a change. There we go. Um, and I don't think I realised that you are basically putting an advanced, you know, uh, blast furnace in this. I don't think I've realised that. Uh, what are these things? More, yeah, more of these. There we go. More again of these. One, two, three. That is done. Um, we need a hammer. We need a hammer. Wireless fluid grid. We don't need that one. Let's grab ourselves a hammer. I made a few. Uh, there we go. Bam. And I can never remember where exactly to hit. Boom. The hottest topic. Okay. Yeah, you can you can stop all that now. Please, please stop that. <laughs> why are you still doing that? Um, why are you still being weird, uh, projector? There we go. Whew. Just one stop projecting. So we have our furnace, and these are where the electrodes go. So this has actually not been too bad, and we didn't need that. I was correct. Um, I quite like putting it down here just to have all of this. So I think... I can't remember where all of the inputs and outputs are. This is the this is the on off switch. Um aha. So is that the where the RF would go, I think? I thought the input was the top. It looks like it with that being a blue thing. It looks like these are the inputs. That's what I thought and then this would be the output. I would presume I would very much presume. So I'm going to get this powered up and working, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. So I've had to build the crusher from Immersive Engineering as well. Uh, I've also got the workbench because this is how we make the electrodes. And you can see I need hop. So if we look at, are they called electrodes? Yes. If we look at the recipe, uh, road, there we go. Um, you can see in here that we have this. Ha. Huh. Are you kidding me? <gasps> I never saw that recipe. I always just assumed it was this. Oh man, I didn't even need the engineer. Okay, so I have to revise my whole thing, my whole spiel. That used to be the case. I don't know if this has been changed for all the mods 3, perhaps. I, I could have just used a metal press and done this. Although integrity is only 50%, so I don't know. Maybe it is just better to do it this way. I mean, we still, I oh know, yeah, okay, fine. But anyway, so we can essence these, which is great. Um, but uh, you, if you see, we need the hop graphite dust, but perchance to make the hop graphite ingot. Um, but there are other ways of doing it, like in the manufactory. And then if we use that, uh, we can just smelt it up. But in order to get the hop graphite dust, uh, we need coke dust. And the only way to get that is to crush and just normal coal coke. So, oh, it is night time, there we go. So hence, I needed to do this. So let us uh, just make some of that, there we go. And if we stand above here, we should just be able to um, just do all of that, and this should spit all of this out of the front here. There we go. Uh, and then once we get this, we can put it in the manufactory from Nuclear Craft. Um, is it Nuclear Craft? I think it is. And um, turn it into the hop 
dust, is it? I think. Let's have a lot of uses. Um, normally, you'd have to put this in an industrial squeezer. But uh, apparently, yeah, look at this. Putting it in the manufacturer from nuclear craft is fine. And uh, you can even make steel with it, which is great. Let's just get, like, 16. That will do for now. Come on, one more. Go, Crusher, go. There we go. Let's go up. Bam. Here is the manufactory. There we go. Boom. That should go quite fast. I've got some speed upgrades in there. So basically all we have to do, and I just wanna I just wanna show you this last little bit. And let's chuck all of that in. There we go. Oh, there we go. Hop graphite dust. So then I think all we have to do with this is smelt it. And yeah, we get hop graphite ingot. So I need a bit of this. I need four. Four, is it? To make the actual graphite electrodes and I need three graphite electrodes for the arc furnace to work and then we are done phew right then let's do this this should do that oh we get three. Oh, I didn't I oh, know okay that is right okay I thought that was like you got three for each one so we should be able to just uh, I'll do I have to put them in here is that is that how it works Yes, yes it is. Excellent. So this is now a thing, uh, and the power, just in case, uh, has to go in one of these three things. And I believe that might be the input, and then this is the output. But obviously we don't have the thing, we don't We don't have this yet. We There we go. We don't, we, we're not able quite yet to use this art furnace but it is just here for when we do i'm just uh, i'm just glad that we've we've got this sorted out i'm glad that we didn't have to use the crude blast furnace and this has three in all this time this has done three and this has basically gone through most of the stack of this so um yeah i think i think this was definitely the right call to make but there you go we have another another step towards that all that all important ATM star. We're doing well. We we are inching forward. Like I I know it's slow progress, but it is progress, and that's the most important thing. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, a like or comment is very much appreciated. And of course, do the subscribing thing if that's that's fancy. That would be very nice. Don't forget to check out Alchemical Architecture, my very own mod pack that I'm also playing, which is a magic building series. And, uh, and then, yeah, there might be another new series coming this week as well. So keep your eyes peeled. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Hector. This has been All The Mods 3, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.